Thank you, Corey. Hopefully this won't be the last time I'll be noted for something and you can be up here again for me. <laughs> Although at this point in my life, you never know how many more opportunities there, there will be. Wow, it's such an honor to be here tonight. To be one among three other incredibly talented women who have advanced the sport of surfing so honorably. I must thank Dick Nets, who actually wore his dress Levi's tonight. <laughs> and the Surfing Heritage and Culture Center, who worked so hard to collect and preserve the history of our sport. Dick, you're one heck of an advocate, and the surfing community is really fortunate to have you working on its behalf. Yeah. Yeah. Biggest thanks go to every person here this evening. Your passion and contributions enhance the spirit and sport of surfing and are the driving force that make events like these possible. So let's give ourselves a cheer. If you're lucky enough to have a glass of Longhorn Vineyards wine or a left coast brewery beer, raise them. Here's to you, the Surfing Heritage Crew, our sponsor Roxy, the ranch of Laguna Beach for creating such a gorgeous setting. Thank you all. Gorgeous. Look at this audience. Surfers out of water. I hardly recognize any of you. With clothes on and dry hair. Heck, I hardly recognize myself. Seriously though, as I look out over the audience, I see so many women who deserve being on this stage tonight. Women who definitely made waves, not only by advancing the sports skill and performance levels, but also by continuously promoting, marketing, and organizing competitive surfing itself. Linda Benson, the first internationally yes. Yes. the first internationally recognized female surfer, and the first surfer, to, first woman to surf Waimea, which meant I didn't have to paddle out there. Thank <laughs> De Debbie Beecham, who in the 70s helped create the Women's Pro Surfing Tour, has been charging ever since. Jericho Poplar, who was a co-founder and tireless supporter of women surfing throughout the years. And Mary Lou Drummy has been promoting, <laughs> has been promoting amateur surfing through the Western Surfing Association for what seems like forever. Talk about dedication. Please, ladies, could you stand up so we can give you a round of applause? in that my career co coincided with one of the largest waves ever to hit surfing, the 1960s. <laughs> this is when a whole lot of diverse influences grew together to form one giant swell that swept across America, and I was lucky enough to be in the right spot to catch it, Southern California. <laughs> Our coast became a confluence of surfing music with Beach Boys, Dick Dale, Jan and Dean, surf themed movies with the Beach Blanket series, Gidget and the Endless Summer, and surf inspired clothing with Hang Tan and Ocean Pacific. People across the country became intrigued with our quirky little sport and wanted to become part of it. Madison Avenue, being the sharks that they are, quickly took the bait. And what once was limited to the immediate coast became a new sensation and a lifestyle. I just happened upon that wave and wrote it beyond surfer and surfing into mainstream magazines such as Life and Look and Vogue and sponsorships beyond board makers or wax companies to sponsorships from Triumph Motor Cars, Bonnie Bell Cosmetics, and Catalina Swimwear. Being here tonight is a testament to how good this ride has been for me. 
My wave is still in motion. It's just getting a little smaller and a lot slower as I get closer to the beach. <laughs> so it is with great humility that I thank the great sport of surfing and all its wonderful and eccentric characters, all of you, for allowing me to drop in one hell of a wave, one that has lasted over 60 years. Thank you.